1942, the 82nd Airborne, dubbed the All-American Division. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to install the PPSSPP emulator on your Android phone. I'm going to show you how to download it, how to set it up, and also how to download and play games on the application. If you're finding this channel for the first time, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications. And without wasting much of your time, let's get to the video. To install the application, launch your Play Store and search for PPSSPP, okay? You're going to open your Play Store and you're going to search for PPSSPP on the search bar. Now, when you search for PPSSPP, two results is going to come out, which are the PSP emulator and the PSP Gold emulator. The Gold is paid, so we'll not be downloading the Gold. We are going to be downloading the normal PSP emulator, okay? So you're just going to click on install and you're going to install the application. Now, after installing the application, you're going to launch the application and immediately you launch it it is going to load up just like this and then you'll be asked to choose a folder where your PSP data will be stored okay you're going to click on the OK button right there and um, you can either create the folder in your phone's internal storage or your SD card okay but in my case I'm going to be creating in my phone internal storage so I'm just going to click on create new folder and I'm going to name it PPSSPP games okay you're going to click on OK and you're going to give permission to PSP to access that folder. You're going to click on Allow and that is it. Okay, as you can see right there. So you're going to click on OK and PSP now has you know, a folder it is going to automatically store its memories when you're playing your game. So um, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to download and you know install games on your PSP emulator. As you can see in the PSP Homebrew Store, you can go there and you know click on any of the games you want to download and just you know download the game from there. So if you want to download the game from the Homebrew Store, you're just going to slide down and look for the game you want to download. You're going to click on it and you're going to click on install. It is going to download the zip file of that game and you know automatically install it. And if you want to import a game manually, you're going to click on games and you're going to click on the browse icon right there. It is going to bring you to your internal storage you're going to select the folder you have your games downloaded in and you're going to allow psp to access that folder and it is going to load the games in that folder please make sure you got the games legally and you have the right to use them okay so as you can see i have call of duty and the likes so um before we start playing games i want us to look at a few settings in the rendering solution right there you're going to change that to 4x psp which is the 1080p resolution okay this is going to work perfectly fine in normal phones and the back end you're just going to leave it to the default which is Vulkan but if your phone has a good processor you can change it to OpenGL okay and then we're going to scroll down a little bit to the um, frame rate control you're going to keep the frame skipping to one and um, you're going to scroll down to the overlay information and you're going to tick both the show FPS counter and the show speed counter okay now if we go to controls and you click on edit touch control layout you can you know um, edit the control and you know just customize it to your own default settings okay you can resize it by pinching in and out of the screen to make the analog either bigger or smaller and that is how you set your controls now to play games you're just simply going to click on the game you want to play and you're going to launch it and that is it this is how to install and use psp emulator on your android phone if you found the video helpful, click the subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.